Hey everyone, Nunu here. You've been asking and I'm ready to deliver. Let's dive into creating a super realistic exterior using D5 Render. I'm going to walk you through every step of my process. We will start by picking out some awesome references with the help of Prom AI tool. Then we will jump right into importing our model, getting those materials just right, bringing our scene to life with a little immunization, and finally, I'll share some of my lighting tricks to make our scene pop. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'll start by first gather some inspiration using an AI tool called Prom AI, which is today's sponsor. When you first open the site promai.com, you see a lot of features here. But I'll select this one, I'll click here on the top, and I'll select Architecture Design. I'll press OK, and here on the bottom, it will show up different options. You have from turning a simple sketch into a detailed rendering to create image variations. I'll first select this one called Creative Fusion. This will blend two images together and create a new one based on the styles. So I'm going to select here this image. So this is a very initial render that I'm doing. And here on the right side, I'm going to select this image and I'll click here on the bottom to select a new style reference and I'll go here on the top to landscape architecture. And then from here, you can select which style you want for an image. So let's say I want this, this style here. And here on the intensity, it's how much you want to take into account that specific style. So I'm gonna move it to 30. And here on the render mode, you can say it's precise. So it will take your reference image into account more than the, than the style. And then here I can say that it's a modern house and I don't want to have people on my render. Okay, so click generate. So as you can see, it will create three new images with fidelity to the references. Okay, let's see. So it kept the main image and just used the second one as a reference, as you can see here. So two and three. But this is great to create moods quickly. Let's just select a new image for the style and see the difference. So I'll go here to the style and maybe let's see what else we got here. Maybe this one seems like a more clean image and just generate. So yeah, you can see here the results. I think the sky is quite dramatic and it has a lot of contrast could be reduced a little bit, but as I said, overall, I think it's really great to create moods in our images. But we may want to be specific and tell AI exactly what we need. So in this case, we have here AI image generation. So here you can see your history, you can see explore, and on the explore, you have different tabs that you can see. So logo, concept art, so you can see this is already what people created. So you have a lot of options here. And so if you, if you click the image, you can see even you can click to copy the prompt to try to generate similar to you, okay? And so here in this window, you can define the prompt. So let's say modern home with concrete slab with winter birch trees. I'm going to say some trees in the foreground. Winter road with snow, clear midday blue sky. For now, I'm just going to ignore all the options here on the bottom and just going to press generate. And so this is the images that it created. So one, two and three. Indeed, you can see the birch trees. You can see that we have some trees on the foreground, some trees on the background. We have a modern house, so it's a clear blue day sky in the winter with a lot of snow. So this is exactly what I had in mind. Even the materials, we have this concrete house, so it's quite nice. And we can try to be a little bit more specific. For example, let's try to add here in Ludwig Mies van der Rohe architectural style. Press generate again. 
and so these are the new images to be honest i think it looks really realistic and you can clearly see here in some images maybe this one or this one a little bit of the farnsworth house inspiration but i'm really enjoying this type of trees here and the overall mood of the scene it's exactly what i had in mind with the type of mood with the type of sky and the lighting for this winter scene and i'll select here this one and i will try this feature if you go here to the top you'll see that you can have more features uh, besides that you can like it or dislike i'm assuming that this will tell the ai that this was not a good result and you can download this uh, standard full download uh, the full download it's only for uh, premium accounts and large size which is 4k so you have three options you have the standard download which is 1k 2k full download and 4k the last two options are only for premium accounts but here on the on the right side you see that you have uh, sketch rendering creative fusion photo to sketch all of this it's here already and we can go here to our painting and click here and so in this out painting feature what you're going to do is drag these handles and maybe i'll drop it like this okay and here on the bottom first i'll set the aspect ratio to a different one maybe i want the four by three okay so something like this and then if i just simply click generate it will automatically fill in the blank spots okay that we have there by the way you probably noticed that you have a lot of images here this is already images that i was creating and i was testing before all of your history is always here available okay it finished let's have a look at the options as you can see and you compare here to this image on top here you can see that from this area it generated everything completely new and you have three options to select from okay so it generated that whole area so let's see from this ones maybe can be this one and also there's a tool called erase and replace if you go here to the top erase and replace and let's say that i would like to replace some area here for example i would like to replace this road here by uh, an asphalt road for example let's see so erase and replace so if you have here on the right side auto selection you can easily just click here and you see that it automatically knows this this is a different area of the image so if you click it it will just generate on this area now i can just say here asphalt road and i click generate so it's generating three new options it's always three new options that it gives you let's have a look so this is the before this is after so this area i think it's quite short area so what we can do is actually we can paint manually we can give it more area so it can actually create a nice road okay so maybe something like this until here okay now let's cl click again to generate I think this one turned out quite well in comparison to the others and there's still some issues here but we can still go and re redefine better the, the the painting area and try to get better results we could try to redefine our prompt to be a little bit more specific but overall i'm quite happy how this image turned out and as i mentioned before i already did some examples here similar to this one and one of the images that i really like was this one here and so I want to use this image as the reference for my project. So I'm going to do the project in D5 render, which is a real time render. And I'm going to go here first and click large size download. OK. And when you do, this is the image that you will get. So you can see that the resolution is really high and the details are great. So you can see all the little details. And as always with, with uh, AI, there are some areas that you need some work, right? For example, you couldn't use this to send to your client because this shadow has some weird artifacts here. And even if you go really, really into the details, 
uh, you can see that these branches have some issues as well. Overall, this is great for a, a reference. It's quite realistic and you can use this to generate different image variations quickly. And then when you are happy, you can go to your modeling software and then to your rendering and start from there, which is what we're going to do now. The next step, I'm going to show you how I made this in D5 render. But by the way, I just want to let you know that this Pro AI, you can use it for free or you have the premium account, the pro account. You have different options. You can see that you have the free version, you have the base, standard and pro. OK, so each one of them will give you different uh, generations per month. OK, 300 generations, 1000, 3000. And so they all have different things that you can explore. But now let's import the model into D5 render. I'll place it on the scene and set the location to zero. I will start adding materials from D5 render library to the model, starting with the glass. Then I'll select this black matte metal for the windows and railings. I will also apply it on the garage doors and entry. The door has this glass, but here I'll select the frosted glass material from the glass category. I'll go to the camera and then disable the auto exposure. I always prefer to set it manually. So this will be a good starting value. Now for the facade, I will select the concrete material. I'm selecting this rough concrete 06 and adjust some properties. Well, this material has a lot of visual noise and won't work well for what I'm trying to achieve. So I'll select another one. This white concrete one is a better option. I'll adjust the stretch, which is the material scale, and apply to the other areas of the house. For the panel next to the entrance door, I'll select the pressure treated wood material. I'm just going to adjust the scale and then apply to the ceiling. For the floor, I will select the material from the outdoor ground category. I will select this L-shaped granite tile and change the rotate property. This won't be too visible from the view we are going to render, so I won't waste too much time on it. I am adding this material I found from Megascans, which is a nice hero. I adjust the roughness to be less reflective and I'll be adding this snow material as well. I'll adjust the stretch depending on the area I'm applying it to. Now it's time to add an HDRI to our scene. I'll click here HDRI and then I'll go to custom and select a new one. I downloaded this one from hdrihaven.com. I'll leave all the links in the description below so you can get the exact same assets I used in this scene. I will activate this option for Sun and leave the intensity at 1 and Sun Disk Radius at 1. On the HDR Sky, I click the Settings menu to open more options and adjust the skylight and background. Now I'm trying to find the better sun position by rotating the HDR. Now it's time to add a new camera. I'll use the new camera tool from D5 Render. First, I'll disable the auto exposure and adjust to a better volume. Then I'll change the spec ratio to 4x3 and make the focal length 24 millimeters. Now I'm just fine tuning the camera position. You can click this icon to make the camera full screen and then adjust with your keyboard and mouse the position. On the projection mode, I'll change to two-point perspective so all my vertical lines are parallel. On the top right corner, you'll find this display button. And inside, you can click this grid icon. 
so it activates the rule of thirds grid. Now I'll just make these lines of the house match the ones on the grid. Now it's time to adjust the effects by adding a bit more contrast Adjust the color temperature, add vignetting and chromatic aberration. Finally, I'll add a LUT file to give some color grading to the scene. And if you'd like to take a step further with D5 Render, I recommend you checking out my D5 Render course. The course features 8 modules, which has interiors, exteriors and animation. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now it's time to add new assets. I will start by adding these ones from Megascans. They are high quality assets that will blend well with my current snow material. Again, I'll leave the link to all the assets from Megascans in the description below. Here I'm just fine tuning the position to blend the best with the current model and material below. Now, I'm not really liking the HDRI lighting, so I'll switch to G1 Sky Mode. Here, I'll select the time and adjust the North Offset to set the Sun Rotation. I'll adjust the amount of clouds in the sky. And I'll make the sunlight intensity a little less bright. And this is the final look. Don't forget to save it on the scene list. I'll add a winter tree I downloaded from 3D Sky. This one has already snow on it, which looks great for this scene. I'll add a couple more leafless trees to the scene. I'll add another instance of this snow model to block the horizon line. I'll duplicate more instances of this winter tree and add it to the front of the house. Now it's time to add some snow assets from D5 Render Library. You will find them by just typing snow on the search bar. I will place a couple of them along the road, like it has been recently cleaned from the snow. And I will continue to mix these assets with the current landscape. Remember that you can always scale the objects to fit best your scene. D5 also has these snowy road assets, which are great to blend with the current road on my scene. I'll add these snow assets to add some patches of snow on the roof. You can leave some areas of the roof visible for better variation. You can duplicate some assets and add them to the balcony as well. On this area here, I'll add some vegetation assets to match the reference. Now I'll select a couple of trees from the dead trees category and using the path tool, I'll add a couple of them to the scene, giving some random rotation and spacing.
I'll select a couple of leaves assets to scatter around the terrain. I will place them using the brush tool and I'll switch back and forth from the eraser and brush tool to add and remove leaves. Now I'll select the backdrop plane from the landscapes category. I'll select this winter one and add it to my scene. Now let's add a very important detail, decals. With this, we will add surface imperfections and overall weathering to the building, like some dirt, water leakage and other elements. Now it's time to work on the interior. Defy Render has what it's called Interior Parallax. It's basically just a plane, but it has some depth to it, giving the illusion of a fully detailed interior. I'll add a couple of them by the windows, covering everything. I'll adjust the properties so the light inside is not turned on, making it more fitting for this daytime scenario. I'll add some fog to the scene, adjust the options and add the volume light for more atmospheric effect. And that's it! After this, we just need to render the image. I hope you liked this video and that's all for today, I'll catch you all in the next one.